Today I'm going to show you how the Pricer theme works from the perspective of the customer. So I'm seeing the website uh, as it is now without being logged in. So first thing I'm going to do is log in with the user I have just created. Uh, I'm not going to, to show you how to create a user because it's very obvious. So it's from the registration screen. So you choose your username, email, password and all that and then you you can just log in so i'm already ha having a user created uh, i have already added one thousand dollars to the balance to help us with the purchase of a, of a regular job here in the theme uh, so i'm just going to let's say let's take this job uh, right now in the team we we have uh, the booking uh, plugin installed. This comes with a pro version, which obviously can be disabled if we want to. But uh, for the purpose of this uh, of this video, I'm going to leave it as is and use it. Uh, that way we can also make a demonstration how we can use the booking plugin. So I have selected my date, my hours, the price is uh, $200, I'm going to pay for it. Uh, this shows all, all the payment gateways that we have uh, available. Obviously we, we have some more payment gateways available which are not enabled, but they come with a pro version. So I'm going to pay by the e internal e-wallet. Uh, I will confirm the payment. So right now I have the, the order created as you see here. So the seller of the of this order is the admin. So he will receive notifications and all that that the job has been purchased and he needs to deliver. Uh, here we can control the um, the order page and we can communicate with the with the seller. The buyer and the seller can communicate. Uh, we have the, the details for the order here. Uh, we can uh, we can write a message. So maybe uh, I have purchased this job. Please deliver as soon as you can. So the the user the. Um, the, the seller the seller user which in this case is the admin will see this uh, this message uh, we we just have to wait for the seller to deliver so let's log out and then we can uh, we can log in as the as the seller which is the admin in this case uh, let me see if I can remember the password okay okay. So we, we already see the order has been created here. So we have, a, we have a new sale. So we have two pending orders, one of which is the, the, the order that was just created for us. We already see that we have a message here. So it's the message from the, uh, from the buyer. Uh, We are writing to the to the buyer that we will deliver deliver the the order. So we need to mark it as delivered. It asks us to confirm. So now we have a, a delivered job. We can see that here. So we have marked this mark marked the job as delivered. We log out and we log back in as the the user that have purchased the job we see we have uh, already a notification here about the, the delivered job so the only thing we can do now is uh, either to deny or accept the job so I'm going to accept the job uh, after the uh, the job acceptance it asks me to review the seller so I'm just going to give out five stars okay 
I submit my review for the admin and now I'm uh, I'm done uh, so I can see my balance has decreased because I have spent $100 for the job I can see I can see here that uh, my payment has gone for the order uh, my order is completed right now uh, sorry in the shopping area so my order is completed right now and probably or most certainly for the for the seller user it will show that they they have just made one hundred dollars for that job so uh, we see the transaction here so that's right there is also a 10% fee which is set from the admin to take for each completed job so that means I made $90 for this uh, this completed job uh, I also have a review from the, the user 1 which just reviewed me uh, also this is the sales area so I have one completed job the one I just did and uh, yeah that's it Uh, so chat. for anything else, uh, I will I will cover in in other videos.